What's up YouTube? David here from No Swag Media. Thought I'd do a quick review uh, and talk a little bit about these Solivair loafers that I've had for a few weeks now. Um, as some of you may know that are fans of Tyler, you would know that um, through Golf LaFleur he actually collaborated with Solivair to do like a light blue, a brown, and what seems to be an upcoming almost, I don't know, alligator green colorway of these loafers uh, through Golf LaFleur, of course. But the thing about those, one, is that they're really only available in Los Angeles for the moment, for the time being, at a few stores down there. And also, I just honestly wasn't digging the colors. Uh, if I'm going to have a loafer, I honestly would want something that's going to match with a lot more stuff. And uh, I don't really have any black shoes myself, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to get a black pair of shoes. I am going to be uh, studying abroad in Rome for three months, so I wanted something that was, you know, a little bit more classy, but also had the comfort of, like, a boot or kind of a sneaker almost so this is kind of a really good uh in between there and also the golf lafleur ones i believe are at least like a hundred dollars more than the retail on these now these themselves were about two hundred dollars us uh i ordered them from solivare's website and uh they shipped within a couple days uh all the way from england as you can see on the inside here these are handcrafted uh in england by like and I think it's uh yeah NPS shoes. Now yeah, this company's been a around for a really long time. Uh, Solivare actually used to manufacture Doc Martens back when Doc Martens was made in England. Uh, eventually, their contract with Doc Martens broke, and uh, Doc Martens moved uh, overseas. And uh, you know Solivare has been saved, and the company's still around, but. Essentially, what you're looking at is kind of the OG manufacturer of Doc Martens. Uh, and many people consider the quality on Solivares to be much better than the modern Doc Martens. Uh, many people would call these kind of the old school Doc Martens as far as the quality goes. And yeah, I must say the quality is pretty great. Um, sizing definitely is something to watch out for. Uh, I usually wear in Vans a 10.5 and, and in like Chucks, Converse, I'll wear around a 10. So I heard a lot of people say go a half size down. So based on my Vans, which is usually a 10.5, I went down to a 10 in these. And uh, I, I ordered them in the mail and the 10 just had too much room in the back for me. I was getting some heel slippage and with leather shoes you can expect them to stretch a bit. So if you have some if you have if you have quite a little bit of slip in the beginning uh when you first get them then you can only expect it to get a little bit worse. Sometimes they'll shape to your foot, but I felt as though I definitely needed to go a half size further down. So usually in Vans I'm a 10 and a half and I ended up getting a 9 and a half US uh men's in these and at first they were a bit snug, but I was still able to slip them on and off, you know, fairly easy. And uh, it took, I would say, maybe like three days of long use, maybe about 20 hours or so to really break these in. Uh, they did hurt my feet and give me, like, not, not too much of blisters, but they kind of rubbed my feet raw. I do have pl pretty flat feet, so kind of like the ball, uh, that bone on my ankle was sort of rubbing right up against here a lot and that kind of rubbed my skin raw but after you know just fighting through it for for a couple days uh i eventually put them on one day and i no longer had an issue as you can see they kind of stretched out in width there and uh yeah i would say because they're leather sometimes you'll put them on your feet and they'll feel tight but as you start walking they'll they'll loosen up pretty quickly but the comfort on them is pretty great especially for a loafer and that is because you have kind of like the rubber bottom uh, it's like a good year welted sole i believe they call it uh so like all of solivare's boots and shoes are pretty much made on like the same the same platform or sole like the shape of the shoe as far as like the toe to the back goes but they just build you know the different styles around it so this is the loafer style 
It's very similar to Doc Martens, but I've heard most people say that these are better in quality than the Doc Martin Adrian's. Uh, they do have the exposed stitching, but different from Doc Martens, this is a gray, uh, a gray stitching instead of a yellow. And they have these tassels. It's pretty interesting to go online and see kind of like the process of how they hand make them. It is a really small factory, and these do come in quite a quite a few different colors online. I really like the gray, the navy ones, and the gr dark green ones online are also really cool. But uh, yeah, I'll throw these on here so you can see what they look like on foot for a second. So yeah, I'll be right back. So here is kind of like a from the floor perspective view of them. They are a little bit chunkier than like your average loafer, which I think personally is a good thing if you're trying to wear them a bit more casually and not always from like a dressy sort of perspective. Um, I think they're a good fit for that. And I believe, I read online that compared to most other loafer, loafers, like the tassels and this front part here is a bit larger and wider. And also the tongue is wider. So it's kind of just helping them be a little bit chunkier and sort of more of a, not necessarily a sneaker look because they are far from it, but just sort of that chunkiness you would expect from a sneaker. I'll give you guys a, another like separate view from a mirror here. So excuse how dirty the mirror is, but this is kind of like a distanced view of what they look like. They kind of go with most outfits. I would just say it's a matter of making sure you get the right type of pants. Uh, I'm kind of wearing like skin colored socks today. Uh, not It's typically probably not what I would wear with them. I would probably go with usually like a black sock or something. Or if you want to, you know, take it a little bit further, you can kind of go for that. I don't want to say greaser look, but you can kind of go for the Michael Jackson or the, you know, the 1950s sort of look with the, the white socks. I know Tyler does that a lot personally. Um... But I'm, I'm going to be going to Europe, so I'm probably going to avoid white socks because it's not really... It's definitely an American thing, and I kind of want to blend in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, this is what they look like from the side. I'll give you just another, like, detailed view here. They kind of have this, like, white uh, sort of cotton that lines the inside towards the toe box that makes it pretty comfortable. And just, like, a little bit of cushioning here, but honestly, the rubber is what really makes these pretty comfortable for a dress shoe. But yeah, uh, if you do end up getting a size that isn't yours, uh, Solivare does have like a return thing on their website and it's super simple to, to just send them back and get your monies back. I actually ended up, as soon as I've, I was doubtful of the size 10 fitting me, so I actually ordered a, I actually ordered both within like a day of each other and then had both of them come in tried on which one I liked and returned uh, The pair that didn't fit if you do have the funds to do it I would honestly say if you're in a rush, it's worth it. Just order both return the one that doesn't fit There's really no I had zero problems with them and their customer service is really great since it's a smaller company but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some of my other stuff if you're a fan of Tyler make sure to check out some of my Tyler videos Please don't be in the comments uh, talking about how I bought these just because Tyler wears them. Not going to lie, I found out about them through Tyler, but I did have a pair of loafers like a year ago, but I've kind of been looking for a good pair with like the rubber sole that's a bit more comfortable because the ones I had were pretty uncomfortable. And honestly, I just like uh, a little bit of a dressier shoe, especially since I'm going to be in Rome. So I thought I'd check these out. I trust Tyler uh, with... Uh, quality of stuff and uh, I get a lot of inspo from him so I decided to give these a shot and I definitely don't regret it I would say for 200 bucks they're worth it because you know it's a leather shoe it's handmade it's gonna last you a really long time and if you really loved it that much and you did have issues with the sole or anything like you could go to a cobbler and have them work on it and all that jazz but uh yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time